In the previous video, we had learned how to extract shore lines from satellite images in some simple steps. If you have not watched that video yet, then watch that first before continuing this video. Today, we will learn how to analyze changes in shore lines with an additional tool called Digital Shore Line Analysis System or DSAS. We need to download and install this add-in in our ArcMap system. Search DSAS download in Google and go to USGS link. This add-in is compatible with ArcMap version 10.4 to 10.8. To download this tool, click on download software and download it as a zip folder. You can read all important queries from this user manual. If you are using an old version of ArcMap, you can use the other versions of DSS. Currently, DSS has discontinued after version 5.1 and ArcMap 10.8. You can read all the new features about version 5.1 from here. While working with shoreline change analysis, you can hear some terms like NSM, EPR, LLR, WLR, etc. You can read about those terms from here. After downloading DSS and the zip folder, unzip it and open it. Unzip the version folder according to your ArcMap version and install the add-in. Now go to ArcMap and customize. Select all extensions. Go to Add-in Manager and see this is installed in your ArcMap system. Go to Toolbars and enable the DSS Toolbar. Before starting the analysis part, you need to change some important settings. These changes are very important because without these changes, your DSAS analysis won't work. Set the canvas coordinate system as the same UTM projection like mine is UTM 45N projection. After that, go to your desktop or laptop's date and time settings. Change the country and language as USA. Just because DSS was developed in the United States Geological Survey, that's why it is recommended. Otherwise, DSS will give you an error. Now, go to Catalog of ArcMap. Select your work folder and create a personal geodatabase. Rename the geodatabase as the year for better understanding. Create two new feature classes named Fold Lines and Baseline.
enable editing and select all short lines together and copy them and paste them into the short line layer. Always keep short lines in chronological layer otherwise it will affect your result. Open the attribute table of the short lines layer. Here you need to write the dates of those satellite images. Write the dates in MMDTYYYY format. Put 0 in uncertainty column. For baseline, create a 300 or 500 meter buffer zone from the shoreline layer. Then trace the outer boundary with trace tool from create features. Open attribute table of baseline and write 1 in group and ID column. You can change the symbology of the short line layer for different years. Now it's time to run DCS in ArcMap. First option is Attribute Automator. We don't need to change it. Go to Default Parameters and select those parameters. If you enable baseline orientation and some arrows appear for the whole baseline, then this S will work properly. For data uncertainty, we can calculate it from a calculation. Otherwise, you can use some average type level height data for it. For acquiring type data, you can go to define websites or gather from the field. Here I am going to use PSM SL type gloss data. My study area is the Puri coast and nearby observation is for Paradip, so I am using Paradip's tide data. These tide height data are in millimeter, so we need to convert them into meter. To calculate uncertainty, we will use this table in Excel. This Excel sheet will be in description box form where you can use it. Write the satellite images, scene ID, time, date, and satellite name in these columns. Seasonal error is zero because all those images are from the winter season and almost in the same month. Pixel error and rectification error are also zero. Mean tide level will be your acquired tide gauge data in meter. Digitization error is the half value of spatial resolution. Write the values in the second table also. Now to calculate uncertainty for every year, 
write the formula as square root of first year and second year sums divided by year gap. Calculate the uncertainty for the long term also. Now write the uncertainty value in this space. Fill up the details in metadata settings. Click on cast transacts and give a name for transacts. Write search distance value which is slightly higher than buffer value. Transact spacing is 100 meter. If you decrease it then more transacts will be generated. Set smoothing distance as 2500 and run the DSS. Your screen will be minimized after running DSS. Don't worry, reopen ArcMap from the taskbar. After casting the transacts, let's calculate change dates. Select all statistics. Set the confidence level as 95.5% and display as WLR. WLR is for long term changes. If you are calculating for only 2 years short line, then select NSM. After calculating the statistics, we can tell that all these red transacts are facing erosion and blue transacts are facing deposition. You can get null transacts on null values. Those null values are for like sometimes DSS cannot calculate change rates for any transact for unavailability of shoreline line. Suppose in 2020, there was a clear shore line, but in 2021, a new river mouth opens. As we keep a gap for that river mouth and a transact falls on that gap, it will give null value. After calculation, export this data table as an Excel file to your system for next analysis. If you have watched this video till now without skipping any part, your DSS will work properly without giving an error. So give us a like and subscribe to this channel to get more detailed videos like this. If you are facing any problem to do shoreline change analysis, feel free to ask us in the comment section. Stay connected for the next part.